A few months ago, user Panel Vixen would leave a comment on the Megatron Ratchet video with questions regarding the Xbox, found in the 2012 series, Regeneration 1. Two questions would be proposed in the comment. Did Scorponok let Optimus Prime keep the offline Decepticons? And did Grimlock think everyone on board the Ark were Autobots? Before getting into the questions, we must understand what the Xbots are. The Xbots are mostly lobotomized Decepticons, and a few Autobots, reactivated by Megatron to help him conquer the Earth. The Transformers that would become the Xbots were stored on board the Ark, having been offline by an underbase powered Starscream in the original Marvel Transformers comics. With that explanation done, we'll start with a more difficult question involving Scorponok. Once Starscream's rampage was over, Optimus and Scorponok would agree to gather up their fallen troops, most notably Soundwave, as he would rejoin Scorponok's troops after being killed by Starscream. But with the Decepticons on board the Ark, Scorponok's part of the agreement is thrown into question. While no actual answer would be given in either series, Simon Furman, head writer for Regeneration 1, would give an answer in one of his blog posts when he was asked the same question. To quote his answer, True, but a lot of casualties of the underbase story were pretty much left to the Autobots to sort out. I doubt the Decepticons cared too much about cleaning up after themselves. As for Soundwave, I figure he was only stunned. So Scorponok didn't keep his end of the deal, forcing the Autobots to clean up Starscream's mess. The next question, involving Grimlock, is much simpler. While piloting the Ark back to Cybertron, Grimlock and the Dinobots would revive the fallen Autobots on board, using the power of Nucleon. Sludge would suggest they check to make sure everyone in stasis were Autobots, only for Grimlock to claim everyone was an Autobot, unaware of Megatron's body, with it in stasis as well, due to previous events. However, that may not be the case, as Wheeljack would point out in Regeneration 1 how Grimlock and the Dinobots must have gotten picky on who to revive, as Grotesque, an Autobot, was amongst the Xbots. So according to Regeneration 1, Grimlock did know everyone on the Ark wasn't an Autobot, with him and the Dinobots even choosing which of the Autobots should be revived or not. I do want to add a quick note, as this topic, at least to me, feels very similar to when Hearts of Steel was added to IDW's 2005 continuity, which I made a video on back in late May. Essentially, the original Transformers comic series can exist with and without Regeneration 1, and even with the retcons brought on by the sequel series, the two series can still work together. Special thanks to Panel Vixen, as their comment was the inspiration for this video. I hope I was able to answer your questions, and sorry again for the late response. If anyone has a topic they would like for me to cover, make sure to leave it in the comment section, and I'll make a video on it when I get the chance. Hopefully in a reasonable time, and not several months later.